This is for day 12, uh, 4 2. Uh, for Thursday, it was supposed to be reading 244 to 248, talking about the conservation of momentum. And it talks about the two particle collision. It talks about how Newton's third law, F equals MA, force is resulted by interacting between two objects. So the force, and it gave you an example of a bat and a baseball steel. And it tells us here that the force. Um, on the bat is equal to the opposite ball on the bat, okay? And that, that is a complex system. Force plus uh, impulse, and if we're looking for force impulse, we're looking for F red on the blue, and negative F on the blue on the red. So we have force and a change in time on the red on the blue equals negative force, divide, I mean, in the change in time on the blue on the red. Momentum and impulse, uh, momentum theory, change in momentum equals impulse. So we have what's called a closed system, not uh, giving or losing mass. Only forces that are involved are interacting forces and no unbalanced forces acting on a system or an object. Then we also have an isolated uh, system. And what an isolated system is is uh, a net external force exerted uh, on a closed system is zero. And then the law of conservation of momentum has to do with momentum of any system closed, uh, isolated systems does not change. So I have some definitions that I'm going to go ahead and just kind of highlight for myself, saying that's important information. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go and I'm going to go to um, the textbook and I am going to do question number 17 on page 246. So on page 246, question number 17 says, two freight cars each have a mass of 3.0 times 10 to the fifth. Well, that's the mass of them, right? Collide and stick together. One was initially moving at 2.2 meters per second and the other was at rest. What was the spinal speed and define the system of the two cars? So when we're talking about here, it's going to be twice the mass in the velocity final. So what we're going to do here is we're going to take our 2.2 meters per second. We're going to add, it stops at zero meters per second and divide it by two and we get 1.1 1 .1, uh, meters per second. Number 20 tells us, it says a 35 gram bullet moves at 475, 475 meters and it strikes a 2.5 kilogram bag of flour and rest at rest on ice. The bullet passes through the bed and it exits at 275 meters. How fast is the bag moving when the bullet exits? So here we go. We're going to point, take the point um, 0350 kilograms, which what we're doing is we're taking um, the 35 grams and we're converting it, okay? So we're taking the 35 grams and we're converting it to kilograms, and that is the mass of the bullet velocity, one, okay? And then it tells us um, we're going to take 475, that is... Um, the velocity of that bullet and we're going to subtract that by 275 is that's when it's exiting. This is when it's entering and this is when it's exiting the bag and then we're going to divide that by 2.5 kilograms because that is the bag itself of how much it weighs for the flour. Okay so in our calculator first thing first make sure our modes are good we look good so we're going to go, and here we have a fraction. So we're going to do alpha y enter. We're going to do open bracket 0 0.0350, close bracket, open bracket 475, close bracket. And whoops, and we're going to subtract 275, close bracket. Then we're going to go down here, 2.5, and we should get 2.8 meters per second. Okay, so then what I did then is I went now to page 247 where it talks about recoil. 
What I remember about recoil is I remember of the guns that I used and the recoil that comes back. So when I am shooting the gun, I'm holding it, and then when the bullet comes out, it recoils the gun back toward me. And so that's what I remember about recoil. It gives you an example in the book talking about where somebody is, is roller skating on um, two different types of surfaces and they go and they push each, they push each other. I know this one better, so I'm going to use that one. So they gave you a little example about propulsion in space. They gave you an example for problem four, and it says an astronaut is at rest in space, fires a thrusted pistol that expels a quick burst of 35 grams. As you can tell, we're actually taking our 35 grams and we're converting it to 35 kilograms or 0 0.03 kilograms. The, um, and the hot gas at 875 meters per second. Since it's going out, it's going to be a negative number. The combination mass of the astronaut and the pistol is 84 kilograms. There we are for that. What is the end and the direction of the astronaut moving after firing the pistol? So what we're going to do is we're trying to find VCF. So to be able to do that, we're going to take our MDV and we're going to subtract our DF and we're going to divide by MC to get our answer. And that is very simple. What we're going to do with our calculator here is we're going to do alpha Y equal again because it is a fraction. We're going to do a negative and we're going to do an open bracket. Uh, 0 0.035 close bracket open bracket negative 875 close bracket down and we're going to do 84 and when we do that we get a 364 and that's a positive number so that's what we do there and then the questions uh, that we had to do on page 249 was just one of them which was number 23 and so 23 says that a 4 4.0 kilogram, kilogram model rocket. So that's our model rocket. Is landing expelling burning fuel of a mass of 50. Well, we're going to have to subtract those, remember, because as that fuel goes out, it will actually listen, loosen the mass of it, which I got 3.95 kilograms. And it says at a speed of 6.25. What is the velocity of the rocket after the fuel is burned? So I took the negative 0 0.50 kilograms, I times it by the negative 6.625 for the fuel. I divided that by the difference in those two, and I got 3.95. So, I think this was pretty simple. I don't think it was very hard. And then now, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go on and put this on for this day. I'm sorry I gave you so much work on one day, but I gave you two days to work on your test, and I thought that was more important. And I hope you have a blessed day, and I'll be back uh, to finish out this week.